Hi folks, Todd here. Toddy here. And we are about an hour and a half from home, kind of north of Statesville. Yeah. And we're in this cool town called Love Valley. And we're going to show you around. We didn't know this was even here up to about a few weeks ago. Exactly. And <laughs> we found out about it, and this is pretty cool. So I think you're going to really like this. All right, guys. So let's, let's go. go. Yeah, this is it here. <laughs> Love Valley. It's like an old western town. Check this out. You got the room and board here. It says, Welcome to Love Valley. And there's vacancies too. But they do offer all kinds of like horse riding and all that stuff. We're going to walk all through here. And uh, there's a lot of history of this. And uh, Connie knows a little more about it than I do. She read up on all the history of this town. Let me kind of show you here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's pretty amazing. And uh, you're going to see all kinds of cool vintage signs and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to head this way and go through the old western town of Love Valley. What I want to kind of do is walk down the uh, center of town first and then uh, go up and down the uh, each side, kind of show you the stores and everything. But this is pretty amazing. You can shoot a movie here if you wanted to. Look at this. And people live out here. Yep. And uh, there's another one kind of like this um, as well. It's kind of in a center in North Carolina. We want to visit that too. Can't remember the name of it. But this is so awesome. Nice little pond over there. I just want to show you this. It's so cool. Shelby's place right here. Ice cream, pizzas, that music, your ATM. They got a donkey down there. <laughs> it's so awesome. So, kind of watch where I walk. But, um, you know, it might be a little restaurant or something here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This vintage little ride here for the kids. Remember, I remember riding those quite a bit. But like I said, I think people actually do live here as well. But they have horse trails and horse riding. Uh, I think those fans have seen better days. <laughs> Got a, kind of a tilt to it. Got these old church pews here you can sit in. Are really digging it. Henry Martin Trail, and I, I think it is one of the trails. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say here the general store and cafe closed right now. It's a Sunday, and uh, I gotta look in there. No, no way, there's much in there. A lot of these are probably just here now as far as uh, Gracie her name is Gracie <laughs> she's a cutie and we were we just made friends with the uh, Pat here, and uh, that's Gracie. She's like almost 30 years old, right there. She's a miniature donkey. And I'm head over here, and she was telling us like Silver Spur Saloon, all these businesses are not here anymore, and they definitely need to come back and uh, reopen these. I mean, this was definitely a tourist area at one time. Now, Andy Barker opened this uh, in 1954. And he passed away in 2011 but this was meant to be just a really cool place to come and and visit and experience this especially with this town of uh, love valley this is fantastic i love this and over here they've got 
the arena and they have live music still so you can find it on facebook love valley live is what it's called and they have artists come out here and perform Let me walk over here see if we can see yeah this is so cool i love this i love finding things like this but yeah there's the, they have rodeos all the time yeah here's the arena down here this is so awesome and here's a some of the information and phone numbers. I would love to come here and see the rodeo. But you walk down the hill here, and like I said, they have live music and shows as well. And people from all over uh, come and see the shows and see the rodeo. Yeah, look how beautiful this is. So nice. Uh, plus, I'm out of the sun, so I need to cool off for a minute. But this was like a thriving little town at one time. And uh, I just wanted to walk down here and show you this. So it goes over there too. They got like some uh, dump trucks and earth movers over there. And uh, there's some horses here. So they got events all the time out here. And again, you just got to go and look them up and uh, see what's going on. I love that down there. It's beautiful. And I was recently in uh, West Virginia, and when I was driving out here, it kind of reminded me of some of the back roads of West Virginia over here in North Carolina. Of course, these are the back roads of North Carolina. And, uh, but it just reminded me a lot of when I went to that Ren Fair. It really reminded me of that, because there's literally there's mountains right over in that direction, or in the, right near the foothills of, uh, in North Carolina. You know, Blue Ridge Mountains, yeah, not too far away at all. So, and Boone and Blowing Rock are that way too. So we're not far from, is it 421? I think so. There's 321, and I think there's 421. But anyway, or 64. There's, then it goes right towards the mountains. I'm gonna head back up this way. This is great. I just love finding stuff like this and sharing it with you guys. And Connie's busy talking to our new friend that we made. She's learning a lot about this area too. Um, and what's going on. But there's all kinds of amazing uh, horse horse farms. As we were driving here, we saw a bunch of them on the way here, and they have tons. I'm not gonna go too far, but they have tons of horse trails that you can go on all through here. And stay out of that mud. Um, no sightings of Bigfoot. <laughs> not that I know of. Um, but uh, yeah, there's um. All kinds of horse trails and horse farms and uh, I would just love I was talking about the Amish love and go get some like fresh produce and meats and stuff like that from the farms you see all the horse tracks <laughs> all the hooves right here so all these are very fresh it's gonna be a little bit too hot now and check that out all the stone there then you have the, or the famous Carolina orange mud yeah, uh, yeah I guess that might go too far since mosquitoes are out now they probably do early morning rides and you, know, you see down there the orange mud it's really nice out here this trail leased by LBHA adopted by group J not, not sure who that is <laughs> but uh I just wanted to take you back here a little bit. Maybe we'll come back here and do some horseback riding. That'd be kind of cool. Because I know Connie loves riding horses quite a bit. And she was an equestrian rider at one time. When she was young. She competed many, many years ago. So she, uh, she's got a lot of horse riding experience. Not me quite as much. I mean, I've ridden horses many times. But nothing like Connie. <laughs> that's for sure. I'm gonna head back to uh, Love Valley, the little town. I'm right, still there, We're chit chatting. I just wanted to kind of walk around and show you this wonderful little western style town. People live here too. I'm not sure about these, but there are people who definitely live upstairs. You can see their, their furniture and lamps and stuff. There is Muley's Leather store right here. And Sunday, oh, yeah, a lot of these are closed, so they're not opened at all. 
and vending machines are right here. So they do have vending machines. Walk up here. Yeah, there you go. So if you need a drink or, or something to snack on, they do have that in town. This is so awesome. I could just sit here and chill out. Um, yeah, most people I think live upstairs in each of the buildings. So this is just so cool. I love it. But I want to share this with you. This is an old ice cream sign right there. And it says Moonshine Gifts Established 2006. So a lot of these I don't think they're now nah, they're still they're not operational anymore. But there's a lot of opportunity here for sure. So if you're interested, definitely look into it. And uh, maybe they can get this back running again like they used to when Mr. Barker was here. Here they come. Walking Gracie. I love her hat. Her hat is awesome. It's fantastic. But it, it's this is so cool to find stuff like this. I bet that's pretty at nighttime. It's got the Christmas lights wrapped around this tree here. So I'm sure it comes on at nighttime. That look really nice. I just love these buildings. And at one time, this over here was evidently a little hotel or a little, you know, a little motel in at one time. So neat. But kind of enjoying yourself. Talking to our new friend. But uh, again, if, if we have a chance, we'll come out here and, and go to the rodeo. So we walked down a little bit further down towards the arena and check out the seating here too. Get the stone seating right here. You can watch the shows, watch the rodeo. They've evidently had a music festival here recently. Here, uh, here's the arena. I was I was told never sit at a rodeo in the front because you you'll get poop on you. <laughs> so just remember that if you ever go to a rodeo, yeah, you don't want to be sitting down here in the front. Um, but, uh, I see them horses over there, and I'm, I'm guessing over there is probably where well, they'll have the parking and a little bit of parking over here. But it's a cool little setup for a rodeo, that's for sure. I like it. So this is Miss Kitty's Inn. It's still operational too. Wanted to go in and check it out inside. Okay. So great, you know, check it out. Here you go. Oh, this is so cool. It's still an operational inn. Got your TV here. They do leather work too, so yeah, and the, and the dog's in the room there. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Still functioning in. It's been around since 1954. Yeah, he does a lot of leather work, or she does. And they got jewelry here for sale too, a lot of turquoise. Got this wonderful fireplace right here. But this is Miss Kitty's. This is the a working inn still. And they have swag. Check it out. Miss Kitty's T-shirt. Now I love that. I I I might I might break down and get a T-shirt, honey, because these Miss Kitty shirts are freaking awesome. Um, he makes them here, yeah, or she does. It's a saddle. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think it's a holster. No, I think it's a saddle. Hey, hold that way. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay, hey. holding it the wrong way. And they are four dollars each. That's cute. So cool. Yeah, I just thought. Uh, Oh, these are great pouches for a grin fair. Yeah. Like so he, money in. Yeah. Nice, nice change purse. Yeah. I'm going to see if they have my size in that t-shirt. Maybe not, but... Oh, he's got holsters. Oh, it does great work. Wow. But you got the secret chest. This is great. I love it up here. So I guess the rooms are up that way. Yeah, y'all can come back anytime. This is great. This is the room, one of the rooms here. Yeah. Wow. Got two, is it two queen size or two king size, it looks like? Yes. Two king size. Holy I love the Native American painting that's on the wall, too. That's pretty cool. It's a big TV set. <laughs> yep. So this is one of the rooms here. And you got two king size beds. Check this out. Got your refrigerator here. Got the wonderful pine paneling. I love the Native American artwork, too. Look at the size of that TV set. That's huge. And here's the bathroom. Oh, these are great. 
to stay here in Love Valley in the old western town. So cool. Oh, it's great. I love it. And he makes the belts too. Check this out. This old western belt with a holster and everything. Yeah, they make them all here at Miss Kitty's. So what'd you think of the end? Wasn't that pretty cool? Yeah, definitely 1954 style. Yep, and we... <laughs> I get my t-shirt. Hasn't been updated since then, but yeah. Yeah. So I get my Miss Kitty t-shirt, so. <laughs> and I like to do that because I like to support local businesses. Right. And hopefully they're going to get this up and running again because this is pretty neat. I love it. Yep. And we want to thank you guys for joining us here at Love Valley. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of history. I'll have the links to all the history of Love Valley and uh, Love Valley and uh, what Andy uh, Barker, I believe. Andy Barker. Andy mm -hmm. Barker created and his wife. It's really nice, really cool, and I look forward to seeing this thrive again. So look into it if you're interested in find out more about Love Valley. All right, guys. Well, we're going to also come back for Christmas. They do have a Christmas yeah. event, so we will check that out. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Yeah. So they're going to have the whole town all lit up, stuff for the kids, uh, Santa Claus, all that. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll be coming. That would be great. All right, guys. You take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>